यहाँ पर जो डिपेक्शन है उसके बारे में सवाल उठ रहे हैं और बोला जा रहा है ये कम्प्लीट डिविएशन है और फेथ के साथ छेड़छाड़ की गई है जब हम रामायण की बात करते हैं वॉट कम्स टू आर माइंड रामायण क्या है रामायण एक कथा है जिसमें रावण हमारी माँ सीता का हरण कर लेता है आई एम सीकिंग अ कम्प्लीट बैन ऑन द स्क्रीनिंग एंड टेलीकास्ट ऑफ द फिल्म आदि पुरुष श्री रामचंद्र जी हनुमान जी लक्ष्मण जी माँ सीता आर वर्शिप्ड एंड ईच एंड एवरी हिंदू होम शेल नॉट बी सर्टिफाइड फॉर पब्लिक इन द सीता हरण सीक्वेंस ऑफ द फिल्म रावण इज बींग शोन अपडक्टिंग सीता जी इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ श्री राम एंड लक्ष्मण जी This movie, Adi Purush, is an exact and faithful representation. It is not a. It was not before the censor board or before the government. Whether they are giving declaration that it is a Ramayana or it is only an inspiration. Yes. My lord, today I stand before this court as a representative of a very tolerant Hindu community in India. I am sure your lordships are well aware of the importance that Ramayana holds in the thought. and consciousness of every hindu i am seeking a complete ban on the screening and telecast of the film adi purush across all mediums my lords even in this modern world today whenever we have to refer to a utopian society there is one word for it that is ram raj shri ramchandra ji hanuman ji lakshman ji ma sita are worshiped in each and every hindu home in this country and across the globe milords most important of all within the huge corpus of hindu literature there are two granths there are two epics that are classified as itihas which means that it is lived history it is not a mere matter of fiction that can be distorted under which provision uh, Screening can be banned. Milords, is the statutory provision yes, available to the government union of India? Milords, under section six, and herein I have, I am providing a copy of the same to milords. Milords under section six of the Cinematograph Act. Six. Yes, milords. Yes, not with the screen. Sir. Milords, shall I read it out to the yes, court? Yes, please. Milords, may kindly first see the guidelines laid under the. official gazette of ministry of information and broadcasting dated 6 december 91 let us first see one a the objectives of film certification will be to ensure that the medium of film remains responsible and sensitive to the values and standards of the society the lords may now kindly see 2 8 9 and subsequently 12 in pursuance of the above objectives the board of film certification shall ensure that such dual meaning words as obviously cater to baser instincts are not allowed scenes degrading or denigrating women in any matter are not presented and most important and relevant in this matter visuals or words contemptuous of racial religious or other groups are not presented now milords i'll also start uh, state the relevant facts in this case but before i do that let me give you two small examples of how important the constitution of how important ramayan has been to all of us we all know we all know. okay milords may kindly see this milords this is okay. certificate is granted under 5a milords 35a yes milords Anna? come to 5b principle for guiding guidance in certifying films A film shall not be certified for public exhibition if, in the opinion of, if in the opinion of the authority competent, competent to grant the certificate, the film or any part of it is against the interest of the so sovereignty and, and integrity of, and integrity of. Only on two ground it can be. Milords, so how it is affecting 
the sovereignty and integrity of India. Miloj, if I may be allowed. And there is a provision of appeal also under this act. Yes, Miloj. A they person applying for certificate, so and so, and uh, there is a provision of review also. Yes, Miloj, there is. But the matter is so urgent, if I may be allowed to state. Modifying the if I may be allowed to demonstrate the urgency in this matter, the bench may see it a fit case for public interest litigation. And Miloj, if I may complete read 5B1, the security of the state friendly relations with foreign states. With regard to this Miloj, kindly see come to 5C, why you are in PIA? When there is a provision of appeal to High Court, 5C. Yes, my lords. Any person applying for a certificate in respect of a film who is aggrieved by an order of the board, my lords, this doesn't cover me because I am not applying for a certificate of in respect of this film. The certificate has been refusing to grant certificate, granting only a S A U A, directing the applicant to carry out any. Five E is a power to central government. Yes, my lords. Five E is a power for the central government. Hmm. The film in respect of which the certificate was granted was being exhibited in a form other than one with which the certified. The film or any part thereof was being exhibited in a contravention of the provision of this part or rule. On these two ground and uh, this uh, ground are enumerated in five B. Your you are alleging that these are the this fulfilling of there is a non fulfillment of this requirement of 5b and 5 yes my lord because 5b cannot be viewed alone it must be viewed uh. in uh, consonance with the guidelines issued by the government itself uh. the guidelines that i have earlier pointed out to six uh, dated 6 december 91 if my lords are satisfied i may kindly continue ah uh -huh, please continue you can read your argument yes my lords now, if uh, Milods may permit, I would like to raise certain objectionable scenes that have been there in the film, out of the out of the huge corpus. These guidelines are framed under which uh, which section or rule? Milods, these guidelines are framed under subsection two of section five B of the Cinematograph Act of 1952. You don't have a complete guidelines. You don't have a copy of the complete guidelines. No, Milods, I don't. Yes, please go ahead. Miloj, in the Sita Haran sequence of the film, Ravan is being shown abducting Sita ji in the presence of Sri Ram and Lakshman ji, where both themselves see Sita ji being forcefully abducted and yet remain helpless and lamenting. Are they claiming that they made a Ramayana? Yes, Miloj. That is absolutely there is a certificate or as any claim by the my, yes my lord producer and director this is yeah. yes my lord they have framed the ramayana they have uh, picturized the complete story of ramayana my lords may kindly see annexure p2 p2 page number 27 herein i have produced before my lords a transcript of an interview given by respondent number 3 and 4 no, no, not interview. In any movie, it is, is there any declaration? Miloj, there is a disclaimer uh, in the beginning of the movie which says... Where is that? Have you copied it? No, Miloj. I couldn't copy it, but there is a disclaimer before the film starts that says it is not depicted on... Uh, it is not an exact representation of Ramayana. It is merely inspired. Inspired. But, but Miloj, in this interview, if I may be allowed to read from the transcripts of this interview, where respondent number three and four have unequivocally and clearly without a doubt have claimed 
that this movie Adi Purush is an exact and faithful representation of the Ramayan. Miloj, if I may read from it. This interview is available in this web link. Yes, Miloj. This interview is not only available in this web link. I have also made a copy of the interview and submitted it as annexure P7 in the pen drive, which will be there with Miloj's files. Miloj, if I may read from the transcripts. Hmm. Okay. Interview asks, यहाँ पर जो depiction है, उसके बारे में सवाल उठ रहे हैं, और बोला जा रहा है ये complete deviation है, और faith के साथ छेड़छाड़ की गई है. Respondent number four, okay, first of all, not even one percent of our film is deviation from the actual Ramayan. जब हम Ramayan की बात करते हैं, what comes to our mind? What have you seen in the teaser? In the teaser, Ramayan क्या है? Ramayan एक कथा है जिसमें the devil king, the demon king, Ravan, who हमारी माँ सीता का हरण कर लेता है। भगवान राम माँ सीता को बचाने जाते हैं समुद्र में पुल बांधते हैं। वो वानर सेना के सुग्रीव की और बजरंग बली हनुमान की सहायता लेते हैं। This is like in a nutshell. This is a Ramayan as told to a five-year-old kid. Miloj, it is very important. Kindly see. This is Ramayan as told to a five-year-old kid. He will understand this much of story. This is the story we have lived with. This is the story we are retelling. This is the story we are showcasing. So there is not even an iota of kindly notice. So there is not even an iota of deviance from the actual storyline. Nothing of that sort. Am I right, Om? Milots? Yes. Om Ravit is the director and producer of this film. Wherein respondent number four, Om replies, absolutely, absolutely. This is, this, the idea is to, the idea is to recreate Ramayan on a celluloid. Kindly noted. The idea is to, and when I say recreate, I don't want anybody to misunderstand, is to change it. When I mean to say, is translate from the books. Mr. Counsel, first you bring that disclaimer on record, then we will consider. What is it? We will not go by the interview. It is not. Uh, it was not before the censor board or before the government. We first file a dis disclaimer in this case. Miloj, you first file, then we will consider. I, that. I, I will, I will. But Miloj, I would like Miloj to kindly. Uh, the council will like to go through that as disclaimer first. Whether they are giving declaration that it is a Ramayana or it is a only an inspiration. We will consider that what would be okay. the effect of that. If Miloj Nikhil. would kindly consider this order of the Allahabad High Court and the observations made therein. It's an interim order. Yes, Miloj. Okay. Uh, when the counsel for the petition is submitted, there is a disclaimer in a movie displayed before starting the movie in which uh, the producer and director gave a declaration that it is uh, an inspiration from Ram. In order to examine the ex exact wording of disclaimer, let same be brought on record. How much time? Miloj, may kindly list it on Monday because it is absolutely urgent. Tuesday, we file first. list on Tuesday. 